everyone, this is Craig Trumpy with ATEC and Asset Scan. Today I'm going to talk about extending reliability with IAOT with a video on a case study of a fan bearing showing a failure progression with ultrasonic versus vibration monitoring. So from your home page in Asset Scan, you can go up to Views, come down to Help with Ultrasonic Alerts. And in this uh, white paper, there is an example of a failure progression uh, from healthy bearing to complete failure, showing the trend lines for both overall and ultrasonic. So defining the scales uh, and a little bit about uh, this trend chart, the blue line is the overall vibration in inches per second peak. These alert limits are set at 0.2 inches per second peak and 0.5 inches per second peak for overall. And the green line is the ultrasonic uh, measurement that's a high frequency vibration that's uh, contact based ultrasonic that is 1000 to 25,000 hertz and it's units of G's. The alert limits are set at 6, 12, and 18 G's. Uh, this trend is a 30 day trend of a bearing. A bearing fault or bearing that came out of this machine, uh, this is what one of the elements looked like. At this point, obviously, bearing was no longer rolling. It was sliding, it was grinding, it was setting off some smoke and um, sparks. And so what we're demonstrating here is the value of that early indicator, that leading indicator of ultrasonic versus overall vibration. In this case, the overall vibration uh, hovered along here and really did not show any uh, indication of this oncoming fault. However, the ultrasonic really came across and began to show some faults here at 6 G's early on, in fact, 30 plus days in advance. And then as this continued on to progress and failure, it provided a warning alert uh, nine days before they took it offline, and then four days, and you can see this failure. Uh, one of the things about failures of bearings is that they're nonlinear. When we see an early fault, often we're asked, you know, how long uh, will the machine last? At that point, we say the machine is uh, it's unpredictable. There's a, there's a known fault there. It's not going to remedy itself. And uh, what we know about these is, is these fail, what we uh, call a Minnesota hockey stick failure. So they trend up a little bit, a little bit, and then they go to failure uh, fairly quickly. So one is defining what does failure look like. This machine was not vibrating. In traditional sense, uh, it, it was screeching, it was smoking, it was sending out sparks, but it had not triggered any vibration uh, issues. So again, the, this failure is a component failure at the bearing level. It's something that we want to uh, address and remedy before collateral damage, before that uh, results in, in the actual overall vibration increasing, which is indicating that the whole shaft of the fan is moving and uh, you're at risk of the fan rotor connecting with the shroud and creating collateral, significant collateral damage. And so I uh, really just wanted to highlight uh, full failure progression, compare contrast ultrasonic versus overall vibration. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at AssetScan.com. Thanks for joining us today.